Howdy folks, so this video is about um, how to add uh, Calendly attributes to elements, and in this case it's buttons. So, so first what I'm going to do is I have a class on these buttons, it's called Calendly, and that's it. So what I want JavaScript to do is to take every instance, uh, like every class, and just put it in a bucket for now which is this variable here, cal, okay? So this is a constant variable, cal. And then this is where I put the classes into the bucket, okay? So document, uh, so it's going into this document and it's selecting all of the classes with the class of Calendly, okay? But now that I have all those things in there, I need to loop over them, you know, so go, uh, so it starts at zero, one, two, three, depending on how many classes are on here. So um, I make a for loop. So for const, and then I just, you could set this to anything. You can set it to X, puppy dog, soda, whatever. It's just um, a sort of placeholder for the individual items that are in this uh, variable. I, have, I also mentioned bucket, you can think of it like that. So it's going to loop over it. And then what it's going to do is going to say, okay, like for this first item, let's say it's like item zero or item one. So it's item zero. Um, by the way, array started zero and that's what it's looping over if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to go, all right. So this item, which is actually probably going to be this button. So it's going to say, okay, set attribute. So it's going to set the HTML attribute. It's going to create one. And the first, value is going to be on click and then it's going to there's going to be an equal sign here and then it's going to enter this stuff and I got this from the Calendly documentation just pulled up here so I got that from here okay just so you know what I'm talking about and then the on click you see that there on click and then this and you can just highlight all of this with the quotes and stick it in there uh, this didn't matter. Like I, I can still work with the code with that. 